Hello, my name is Dan Lawrence, and I am a SOLIDWORKS technical support engineer expert here at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, we will be discussing the main hardware components that you should be prioritizing when looking to upgrade your machine for optimal SOLIDWORKS performance. Before diving into the hardware, it's important to note that the most common reason for underwhelming performance in SOLIDWORKS is not outdated or inadequate hardware. Rather, it is typically a result of inefficient or poor modeling practices. One of the best ways to check whether your hardware is the main cause of your performance issues is to actually quantify it. You can benchmark the SOLIDWORKS performance of your machine against the performance of other SOLIDWORKS customers using the SOLIDWORKS performance benchmark test. You can then use those benchmark results to learn how your hardware performs relative to other SOLIDWORKS users. Assuming that you've confirmed your hardware is due for an upgrade, let's take a look at which components you should be prioritizing. Let's start with probably the most important hardware component for determining overall SOLIDWORKS performance, the CPU. The CPU will take instructions from a program or application, in our case SOLIDWORKS, and perform a calculation. Most of the calculations in SOLIDWORKS are sequential, meaning that they cannot take full advantage of more than one core at a time. So when purchasing, you'll want to prioritize the clock speed of the CPU over the number of cores that it has. Next, we have your storage drive. This is a locally installed storage device that's responsible for permanent storage of all of your files. This will impact your opening and save times within SOLIDWORKS. When purchasing, it's recommended to go for a solid state drive or SSD that has enough space for all of the programs that you intend to use. The next component is your graphics or your GPU. This is going to be responsible for the overall graphical performance and capacity of your machine. It will impact the speed SOLIDWORKS takes to render what you're looking at in the graphics area, as well as the speed of zooming, panning, or rotating the model. The best recommendation for this component is to ensure that it has been certified by SOLIDWORKS for use. SOLIDWORKS tests and certifies a lot of different graphics cards, and it has a list of all certified combinations of graphics cards and drivers. For the best experience, it is highly recommended that you choose a card and driver that is on this list. Last, but certainly not least, is RAM. RAM is essentially temporary storage and is where the data that the processor is using is stored. The rule of thumb for RAM is to have enough RAM for what you are trying to do. A simpler way to look at it is having more than enough RAM does not mean more speed, but not having enough RAM will drastically hinder your performance. Generally, we recommend having at least 16 gigabytes, although you may need more than this depending on your day to day. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to dive further into this topic and learn what to prioritize per component, as well as see specific machine build recommendations, click on the link below for the full session.